And uh, Steve, you uh, you hired uh, one of our, well, actually you, you went through, you had two of our VAs this year. Um, tell us a little bit about your experience in how w, uh, WBM uh, VAs have helped you, what they've, what they've done for you and what that's been like. Okay. First of all, it ended up, you, what I'm using your uh, virtual assistants for now is very different than what I originally envisioned. You had told me that that would happen and yet I could not have visualized it. So initially I had my right arm person went on a maternity leave, could not function without somebody taking up some of that slack and so thank God Work Better Now was there to get me a virtual assistant. But what I learned was, first of all, you know, we're in a pandemic. Nobody could be in the same room with anybody anyway. But what's interesting is if you're working on a creative project, which for me means a document, an infographic, PowerPoint, physically, how can you work with a second person unless you're both in a remote location looking at a shared screen? In other words, like, like if you were literally in the same room with me, unless we position the monitor, you'd have to like sit on my lap to do, to, for us to look at it together. So we're, chances are going to be in a separate room looking at a shared document. Since, since that's the case anyway, what difference does it make where the person is? So what I end up doing is uh, working with a person in El Salvador who is uh, you know, able to look at the same document. We sit there together and looking at something and go, what about this? Can you make that? Can you? Well, what, the, the, what I did not anticipate was every time the need was, can we operate this other software? Is there another app that does the thing we need? That the VA could A, find it, find that there is in fact another app and B, find out how to work it read the instructions, watch the YouTube video, and the, or call somebody else that's another virtual assistant. And between all those things, we were able to solve a whole bunch of technical problems. We've even solved it this way. I would have a technical problem on my end, could not solve it. The whole show was stopping because I could not figure something out. Put the virtual assistant on the screen with me. How do I change the thing and make this thing work? And she looks at it and she goes, well, you just do this, that, and the other thing, and it's done, solved. I had no place to go, ne needed help in this moment. I don't have an AV department, uh, down, or IT department down the hall. And uh, so, th so th th there's that person. Well, I thought the original need was for calendar management because we have a lot of calendar management issues, a lot of production and schedules and overlapping schedules. What I now have VAs doing is producing videos, helping me with marketing, helping me proofread my notes. In fact, one of the things, and this may sound stupid, but I like working with other people. I just like being in a group. I'm a, I, I swim in a relay. I like, so there are certain tasks that we do that we just do together. And there are certain tasks we do that the, the virtual assistant is doing something while I'm doing the other part of the same project. Um, what's great is uh, I will like shoot a video against the green screen. They will take that and produce a whole video with openings and closes and backgrounds and editing and all kinds of stuff. So what happened? I just did the part that I'm good at. She did a bunch of things that she wasn't even necessarily good at six months ago, but she's great at now. 